In November of 2020, a family in Japan would show up at the ER with a sudden onset of nausea and vomiting. A patient history revealed that they had consumed a curry for lunch. When they noticed that the onion in the curry tasted bitter, they immediately spat it out. However, within an hour, their symptoms appeared. Liquid chromatography of the sauce and onions revealed the presence of lycarine, a chemical that is known to cause vomiting. Unfortunately, this story is one of hundreds, and more are added every single year. So what did they actually eat? Was it a bizarre variety of onion? How did they make the mistake? Are they okay now? In this video, we're gonna find out, and I'm also gonna show you a simple trick to never make the same mistake that they did, which is important for everyone to know, not just foragers. Lycorene is a plant chemical that is found in some members of the Amaryllidaceae family, particularly in the Narcissus genus. You may know these plants as daffodils, and this is what the family actually ate. And I know what you're thinking. Daffodils? How could someone mistake that for onion? When you think of daffodils, images of those iconic yellow or white funnel-shaped flowers come to mind, and people generally recognize this plant as daffodil at this stage. But the real danger comes either before or after the plant has flowered. To many people, these slender green shoots resemble that of onion, and to the uninformed, digging the bulbs seemingly confirms it. Everything about a daffodil bulb appears to tell you that you have found an onion. It has an outer skin, a white inner flesh, and even layers. Layers! Onions? have layers. However, one key detail is missing from daffodil bulbs that immediately distinguishes them from onions. Go ahead and cut an onion in half and give it a good whiff. <coughs> Do you smell the classic onion aroma? <coughs> This is due to sulfuric compounds which are released when onion cells are ruptured, like diallyl disulfide and trisulfide. Daffodil lacks these chemicals. Here is my daffodil bulb, and when I smell it, zero of the familiar onion aroma is present. If it does not smell like an onion, it's not an onion. The most common onion that you are likely to come across in both North America and Europe is likely Allium vignale also known as field garlic. Field garlic is further distinguished from daffodil by having round leaves that are hollow and young and tiny clustered flowers per stem instead of a single flower per leaf stem. And of course, Allium vignale also has a strong onion aroma. But I don't forage, you say. Why do I need to know about this? Well, in the UK, at a grocery store, another poisoning case occurred because the store did not label the daffodil bulbs as non-edible and they were placed right next to the edible produce. You cannot let your guard down even with grocery store produce. Thankfully, the family symptoms subsided as quickly as they began, as is typical with daffodil poisoning. There is reportedly one death in Japan associated with daffodil poisoning, but it was difficult to find the source and there were likely other complications. If you wanna learn the most important skill for forging safety, then you need to watch this video right here. I'll see you there.